All right, check out our new sponsor, Greenwood Stocks. They want you to know how to be able to trade stocks and be your own boss and be free to travel the world by making passive income. We all need that passive income from stock market. What are you waiting for? Call the text 281-760-3170. If you didn't catch that, that's on your screen. Or check them out at social media, Greenwood Stocks, and catch them at Gmail, Greenwood Stock Trading at Gmail, and the YouTube channel is Greenwood Stocks. Appreciate them for giving me the opportunity. Check them out. We out. All right, former... Uh, Utah Jazz, great play for the Lakers as well, too, late in his career. Second all-time scoring in the NBA. Carmelo asked, why don't NBA all-time greats coach their former team? Said, why ain't Patrick Ewing coaching the Knicks? Let's talk about and address it. He was on the Knucklehead podcast with Quentin uh, Richardson and Darius Miles. Shout out to them. Uh, check out our NBA Talk playlist. Hit that subscribe button, bell, like, bell icon button, share the video. And um, pretty much that's kind of been the question Going around professional sports, especially in football and basketball, why don't former players um, coach? But a lot of a lot of time people say the all time greats don't make good coaches. You know, um, you got situations where you know the marginal or the bum players or not so good players make the better coaches. Rudy Tom Tomovich, uh, Steve Kerr, he was a solid player though. Um, you know, and Steve Nash is getting a shot. Mark Jackson, he was a really good player, but he wasn't a superstar level, but. You know, they pointed out that Carl Malone, excuse me, that Patrick Ewan was like 34 and 32 at Georgetown. But Patrick Ewan is old school. You know what I'm saying? Um, he old school player, you know. And I don't think that translates to college to college game. I don't think it translates to any uh, layer of basketball, peewee, you know, pal, whatever. It doesn't translate at all, man. And that's honest, man. So the way, you know, Patrick Ewan is old school, these kids ain't going to respond to it. So. Patrick going to have to change his approach, you know. My generation was the last generation that, that had those strong coaches that would punch you in the chest, hem you up, and we wouldn't go tell, cry and tell mom and daddy. If you do cry and tell mom and daddy, they'd beat your ass and punch you in the chest. So, I mean, he said, why Clyde Drexler not coaching the Houston Rockies? And, you know, to be honest, they, you know, you know, coaching ain't too fine of, you know, black people. You know, owners don't hire black uh, coaches or black superstars, maybe because, you know, guys like Michael Jordan don't make great GMs or coaches. Who knows? But they should get a shot, you know. Um, I think so. I think, you know, if LeBron want to do whatever he want to do, he should get that shot. If AD want to do whatever he want to do. I mean, Jerry, Jerry Stackhouse is doing a phenomenal job, you know, with uh, Vanderbilt. Why he ain't going to get no call from the Detroit Pistons? Why he didn't get an interview from the Philadelphia 76ers? You know, why didn't Mike and Mick Kupchak give him an interview with the Wizards? You know, he won a G League championship, made it to a, another one. He doing a phenomenal job down there with one of Scottie Pippen's sons. You know, why they ain't giving him shots? You know, Anthony Hardaway's done an amazing job coaching in college. Why he ain't getting no shot? You know, Jawan Howard, look at him. You know, and they did come for Jawan Howard after he had that one year in Michigan. And he said he wanted to remain there. He found his happiness somewhere else. But Carl Malone, right. Why don't these guys get the interviews and the shots? But, you know, Scott Brooks, and no offense to him, and Tom Thibodeau get another chance. And, you know, all these other guys continue to get chances when they don't deserve them. Frank Vogel get another chance. But maybe, you know, maybe the owners don't think these players make good coaches. You know, Jacques Vaughn is the assistant coach to Steve Nash. Why didn't he get a chance, you know? But, you know, Carl Malone, that's kind of really a rhetorical question. He know the answer to it, but I think it was meant to be, it don't, the message wasn't meant to be rhetorical. It was meant to get the message out there. Why ain't these guys getting the opportunity to, to coach like some of these other ex white players? And I agree, some players that wasn't that athletic and wasn't that good make better coaches, but I think guys like Mark Jackson, I think guys like Mark Price, I think uh, just throwing them in there. You know, guys like Terrell Brandon, Mookie Blaylock, you know, Steve Smith. I think it, there are there are some guys that was all-stars or the career was cut short that can come out there and coach. I think Kevin Garnett should be a part of some coaching staff. He can coach. It are, there is a rarity where you have players with great ability that can really coach and get it through from players. And I think those players are some of those. But, um, you know, I think he knew the answer to the question. I think they should at least get an interview. You know, they at least should be a part of a coaching staff just based off the the um just based off the, the experience they had in the NBA. But you know, more coaches should go that route. Kevin Nolly has success at UConn and something happened and they kicked him out of there. But college should say, you know, if the NBA don't want to take care of their uh they former players, let's have them in college, you know. Real talk. UCLA should reach out to Reggie Miller or, or one of those, those Bill Watton, one of those great players they got over there. You know. You know, Portland should reach out to Brandon Roy if it's a university up there. Or Gonzaga, when old boy retires, he's done a phenomenal job up there. You know, go down to SMU. They should go out there and get a coach. You know, what Deion Sanders is doing in college, you know, for the HBCU, some of the major universities better jump that curve and get 
them and Jerry Stackhouse or Juwan Howard, somebody like that, or Patrick Ewing. But let me know what you guys think about the video. Don't forget, we was on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out anytime. If you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video request, or my social media description, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Facebook group. Want to make a donation? Cash app CJ Good 313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section about Carl Malone's gripe with the NBA and not hiring former superstars. One time for the one time. Good fellow Sports TV. We gone.